Hey everyone, so I'm here today for product reviews. Um, <clears throat> this is pretty much stuff that I bought in January and some things that I had bought in December as well. Um, so I just, um, it's pretty much all these and Dollar Tree items at the moment. Um, and it's not that many. Um, but in March, I'm going to be doing my February, um, product review and it's going to be amazing because the things that I have bought so far is just, wow. Um, but there's going to be one item that, um, I'm going to include today and it's going to be the Five Below tennis shoes. Um, and I'm going to show you what I like about it and what I didn't like about it and um, just things like that. So stay tuned because that is probably going to be the last um, product that I'm going to review. So the first thing that I'm going to review is something from Aldi's and it's going to be their Fair Trade Colombian Coffee. And this one is $3.99. I had to write it down for you guys um, so I wouldn't forget. Um, but these are the, uh, like the little cups and my husband and I, we love this one. Like we absolutely love it. It's strong and it's really good. Like it has a really good taste because usually, um, the ones that I bought for the holidays, um, it wasn't very good. And then the cappuccino one wasn't good either. So this one, we definitely recommend this one. Um, the other coffee that we got or we usually get is the decaf donut store one um the decaf one i haven't tried the original one yet but uh the decaf is definitely really good so this one is also 3.99 from aldi's another product from aldi's that i absolutely love and if i go i wouldn't buy it like every week when i go i'll maybe buy it um once in a while because it is a little pricey for me um, but it's still delicious. Like I would, if I have a craving for it, I would definitely buy it again. Um, is these yogurt smoothies. And this is the mango flavor. It's very tiny. It's almost the size of the Dannon one. Maybe a little bit bigger. Um, but these are so good. Like it's really like tastes just like mango. It's, and it's just like, okay, so it's like the Dannon Yogurts, you know, um, the little tiny ones for kids, but it's a little bit thicker and the mango flavor is on point. Um, but it's 85 cents and I don't want to buy like 10 of these and pay $9 for it. You know what I mean? So, um, if maybe they were on sale, if like the date is like about to um, be a week away, I would definitely buy 10 and then I would drink it within that week because these are so good. Um, but yeah, 85 cents, I think is way too much. If maybe it was like half the price, like 45 cents, I would definitely buy 10 of those at the same time. Um, but 85 cents. Yeah. Like I said, no. <laughs> um, another thing that I got from Aldi's is these vegetable chips. Oh my gosh. I cannot tell you. I've had these a few years ago and they just stopped making it or I've like none of my stores would carry it. And, um, I just like now my store has just got them and is oh my gosh I cannot like tell you or express how I feel about these but these are so delicious like my son my older one and I would eat this bag in a night if we could like it's seriously um, one bad thing about it is like you know how chips are like it's half the bag but I feel like it's like a little bit less than half of this one um so that's kind of the downfall but these are super delicious and they're like two dollars and fifty cents so that is actually a really good deal and they're healthy for you so you can't really <laughs> say anything bad about that so these are the five below shoes tennis shoes that i'm wearing and i'm wearing the socks too um so these shoes are a little tight but that's because I have um, wide feet. But these seem like they're going to be like after you wear them a couple times and they'll become a little loose. Um, but so far they're okay. Um, we're going to go out on errands the whole day. So I'll let you guys know how they are when we come back. The socks, um, I wear size 8 um, and these are 911. And I, these are actually the really good perfect fit. So, um, I think you just like might want to get like a bigger size if you're 
size 8, I would recommend the 9 to 11 because they probably will shrink. So um, they are a little thin though. The socks are really thin. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to wear these shoes for the whole day. And I'll let you guys know how they feel, if they're hurting or not, and how I feel about them later. So the next thing that I'm going to review are these shoes. Um, so, okay, I love them and I don't love them. It is a love-hate relationship. Um, when I first put them on, they were really tight right here, but that's because I have really wide feet. Uh, so it was really uncomfortable at first, but after like an hour of walking in them, they actually um, started to be more comfortable like around on the on the sides so I guess like they kind of like stretched a little bit to accommodate my feet um so that wasn't too bad I think they're very pretty they are so so gorgeous and you see that I did walk in them a lot um we were out like 10 in the morning and then we came back like at 1 so yeah um this it's very pretty. I think the design is really cute. And I love the color. Only thing that I don't like about it is that like right here is very open. It's not snug. Like, and then here also was like the tongue is what they call it is, um, it's like attached. You know how most tennis shoes is like the tongue and then like it's separated. I wish they kind of did that with this one because then I feel like it would be more snug. And, I don't know, I'm like kind of comparing this to my Nike shoes that I use. Um, because those, I love those, my, I love my Nikes because they're very snug right here where I know like if I'm running, they won't fall off. By the way, I did run in these just to try it out and I felt like this was going to fall off. <laughs> because it's so open right here. But I think these would be good not for exercising but for just like walking around and you know just doing errands and things like that super cute so i would recommend it because it is five dollars and if you want exercise shoes i don't recommend it but if you just want some shoes you know just because you ran out or because you want like another color or something like that definitely recommend these super cute So the next thing that I got from Aldi's was the pizza crust and those are the thin crust. It comes with a pack of two crusts and two packs of marinara sauce. Um, I recommend this one. It was like $2.75 I believe um, and it's super delicious. Uh, I wouldn't um, bake it for the how much it says. I think it's like seven or eight minutes but I would say bake it for five minutes because you don't want the crust to become hard because um, even though it's a thin crust pizza and you bake it that long, it is going to get hard. So five minutes, I would bake it for that long. Uh, we made a pepperoni and pineapple pizza and it was pretty delicious. And it's a really good go-to meal if you forgot to defrost something or if you need something for a lunch. So um, usually one pizza is good for us because we you know, eat like a salad or like a really big dessert afterwards. So um, one pizza is good. It, if you cut it, it turns out to be um, eight slices. Uh, so it's not like too bad um, if you have like side items with it. But I definitely recommend this pizza and I would definitely buy more um, later in my hauls if I feel like, you know, pizza is going to be in my meal plan. Another product from Aldi's that I got were these freeze-dried Asian pears, and these are really good. Um, they're $2.25, I believe. Um, but these are really good. Uh, they're not overly sweet, but you can taste that Asian pear. It's super good. Um, my husband and I, we like the Dollar Tree ones, the ones that have strawberry, apples, and peaches. Um, we absolutely love the strawberry ones from the Dollar Tree. Um, uh, it's super delicious. And when I saw Asian pears at Aldi's, I was like, what? That is amazing. They also had Fuji apple. And I didn't get that one because, um, I like the apple one at the Dollar Tree and I don't want to pay the $2.25 for the Fuji apple. So 
But yeah, the Asian pears, I would definitely buy this again. Hopefully it's not a limited time product. If it is, I am definitely going to go and stock up before it's all gone. Super delicious. Another product that I'm going to do is from, Do actually from the Dollar Tree. So um, I'm going to do the Valentine's Day table cover. Um, this one is, I like it. It's super big. Um, I use it for my, um, my dresser that I have in my dining room. Um, I converted it into like a storage space for like my table covers and things like that. But then I decorate it on the top. So this one, I absolutely love it. I fold it and then I'm kind of place it on the dresser and it's perfect. These are really great. Um, I would definitely use these for parties or just like for decorating. I think these are really awesome. Another thing that I got from the Dollar Tree was these fall arts. So I used this one already and I do have like some bad feedback on it because I mean they're cute. I'm not gonna lie. They're cute but they're not very sticky. I guess they're adhesive on the back it's um it's not very strong so when I put it on there it would constantly fall back and then I would get a card and I would kind of like smooth it out like so it doesn't get wrinkles and things like that and then my card it like scrapes off most of the art it's kind of ridiculous but I guess you get what you pay for so a dollar not too bad um I would use the other ones that I bought just because, you know, I bought them and it was only a dollar. I'm not going to just throw them away. Um, and hopefully those aren't as bad because the one that I used was bad. So maybe it's just like, maybe it's just this one. Maybe I got like one bad one and there's uh, like the other ones are like perfectly fine. So if you bought one and you like it, definitely leave a comment below like telling me that you got it and it was like amazing. I would love to hear your feedback on that. Next thing from the Dollar Tree are these Batoni cookies. And um, they were meh, not so great. Only because, okay, they're white chocolate coated cookies um, with coconut. I'm not a fan of coconut flakes. I love coconut water. That is like my thing. But I don't like coconut. You know, I don't like the coconut flakes. I don't like anything that tastes like coconut besides coconut water. And um, I'm not a fan of white chocolate as well. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so this one was an eh. But it did definitely taste like white chocolate and definitely tasted like ch um, coconut. So if you like white chocolate and coconut, then definitely get these at the Dollar Tree. Next thing from the Dollar Tree were these... Ugh, don't worry kind of ripped on but these sandwich cookies these little chocolate sandwich cookies can I tell you these are so good um it's like amazing like my my kids and I we went through these like crazy these are so good I can't remember where these came from from Brazil it says that it's made in Brazil so if you ever find these at your Dollar Tree I would definitely get them they are amazing this chocolate is a really delicious taste another thing from the dollar tree are right, were these lead lights that were shaped as hearts these were actually not that bad but i was kind of thinking um i was expecting something else like um <clears throat> just like like a um, a wire with lights i mean it is a wire with lights but it's a wire and then how they have them placed it's really weird um, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting something totally different. <laughs> um, but I think for a dollar, I think these are awesome because they're battery operated. So I don't have to worry about my electric bill going crazy. Next thing that we got from the Dollar Tree were these, um, Play-Doh, but it's called Dough. And it comes in a pack and they're like really tiny little containers. My boys, they already went through them and they are just like Play-Doh. Um, I think it's a really good value, really. If I see these again, I'm definitely going to stock up because you don't know if they're ever going to go out. 
And I think, um, I know a lot of people for, like, party favors, so I add, like, little packages of Play-Doh, but then you get, like, a whole bunch for, um, for, like, really expensive, I think. I think it was, like, what, 20 for $5? But I think you can probably get, like, 8 for a dollar, and, it, and it's a pretty good size. I think that's a really good deal. The next thing that I'm going to review is from Aldi's, and it's these Friendly Farms Yogurt Squeezies. My little little notes here. Um, this one was $2.50 at Aldi's, and I, I don't recommend it. Um, only because it's $2.50 for four of them, and um, it's nothing too amazing. The other ones that come in a tube, those are delicious. And those are a lot cheaper than these. They're $1.75. And I think those are way better. And you get more. And it's just super delicious. And they have different flavors. They have cotton candy. They have watermelon. They have blueberry. They have strawberry. And it comes two flavors in a pack. So um, I think it's like a pack of eight. But I definitely recommend the tube yogurts. This one, not so much. Last thing that I'm going to review is not from Aldi's or from um, Dollar Tree, but it's from CVS. And it's the Physician's Formula Argan Wear um, Primer, the, Ar the Argan Oil. So there's that. I, um, I like this one. Um, a little bit goes a long way. It really does. Like you have to shake it because the oil separates, but I just spray it twice like two sprays on my face and then I just kind of rub it in and that's enough um to like get all over me and it says this is good for the face the body the hair and the nails uh it says multitasking miracle it's a moisturizer toner primer brightener protector and it's a treatment so I don't know about that um I don't think it is uh, it is really good when I, as a bright work for my makeup, so I do that. Um, is is oil, so it's going to be greasy, but that's why I say a little bit goes a long way. Two sprays on my face, and then I rub it in, and then it's perfectly fine, and it's not oily afterwards. I definitely let it dry a little bit, like two minutes, and then I put on the rest of my makeup. But I think this one is a good deal. And um, if you're doing two sprays in the bottle, I mean, I think that will last you for a good, for a long time. And so I definitely recommend that one. Um, and CVS always has good deals on Physicians Formula. So I think if you want a new primer to try out, I would definitely recommend that one. So that is my um, end of the video. <laughs> Sorry. Um, that's everything that I want to review for my December and January buys. Um, I'm definitely going to do a February buy, hopefully in the beginning of March or the end of February, depending on how busy I am, because lately I've been super busy. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video, and definitely hit that like button to know that I should do more product reviews. If you have any suggestions on what I should do in the product reviews, like maybe um, test the products out for you, um, then let me know in the comments below. I would definitely love to hear your feedback and definitely subscribe for more videos. I have more videos coming up in the future and I would love for you guys to watch them. So you guys, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.